Hey everyone, Jody Vinas here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this time we are creating something beautiful in Microsoft Excel as you can see on the screen right now these are two really beautiful tables and I'll show you how to create these tables for an example we have this table with dummy data so what we will do is we will reduce the font then in the header we will convert every item to all caps uh, in the header text in caps looks much better than in sentence casing then select all items and change the font to open sans i have downloaded this font from google fonts you can search open sans in google fonts and this is a very professional font and looks good here now we will select the rows and change the font to open sans light now the next step is select the header and we will change its color to something dark so i'll prefer a dark blue color here uh, dark blue will look good here and blue is a very professional color but it's your own choice you can match the color with your, with your brand logo or any color you want but colors like blue and gray or black looks more professional you can also try some orange or red color so now we will follow the same color on the product items we will use the same color on the product items as we have used on the header but we will do something to make it or to differentiate it from the header color we will select the rows then go to custom colors and move the slider upwards so now you can see the color is slightly lighter than the header color and change the font to white so that the text is visible similarly select the cost and the count and select the color that we have used on the product items and then go to custom colors and again slightly move the slider upwards now change the text to white uh, our table is almost ready now select the header header row and we, what we will do is we will select a nice border we will create a nice border for the header row so select the borders and go to line color and what should be apply here yellow or yellow will also look good here okay let's try mm, okay let's go with uh, gray color and now what we'll do is we will select um, bottom border color so bottom double border so we have our table ready so the next step is here you know we will cover this entire area around the table with some nice dark color so that our table is visible and it stands out and the data is clearly visible so on the white the table looks dark here so we will so that's why we are we are you know making the background dark so that our table stands out clearly and yes so you can see our table is ready so similarly we will copy this table and place it next to it now we have two tables on the screen what we will do is we will apply a table heading here with a nice table heading like product comparison table or product performance or or you know um, something list of items anything uh, it's, uh, anything that you want to showcase in this spreadsheet so for example i have written product management and status so we will remove its outline and its fill so only we will make the text slightly light color we are not using perfect white here so align its center middle and then place it in the center above the two tables so here it looks good 
So as you can see on the screen right now, we have two tables which are looking beautiful. I have slightly adjusted the color of the title and reduced its size. I have decreased the size of the title. And now the next step is here. What we will do is we will create a boundary, some kind of outline with the help of a shape. So I selected the shape. So I'm taking taking some time to place it so that everything is in the center of the shape. You know, in Excel, there are. Uh, I mean, it's not like presentation where you can think align things pretty well so here you have to rely on guesswork as well so now I have reduced its I mean removed its outline the shapes outline and we will increase the transparency so that it is slightly visible as you can see, see on your screen now we will select the text at the same color as we have on the background and our design is almost ready now we will add some text on the bottom you can add anything you want some kind of footer information disclaimer or even your branding as well like I'm writing here, Creative Venus Business Templates. So you can write your company name with some kind of corporate information or anything you want. It's up to you. So what I'll do here is I'll increase the character spacing manually. I don't think there is any option in Excel. If there is any option for character spacing, you can definitely let me know in the comment section below. But I am doing it manually. I am pressing space bar two times between each character alphabet so our you know template is template design is complete so you can definitely use this in your projects offices or any kind of reporting so i hope you like this video and it will be useful for you so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so thank you thank you everyone and have a nice day thank you